Hi, I'm Kristen Amdahl and welcome back to my studio. Today, we're going to make something. Join me for the next tutorial starting right now. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the Gloria crochet shawl pattern and also show you how to make the really pretty edging too. You want to start by tying your yarn to your crochet hook. You can use a square knot, a slip knot, whichever works best for you. And you want to chain 11. Single crochet in the second chain from your hook. Single crochet is insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. You want a single crochet in each chain across. After this first row, you should have 10 single crochets. Row two begins with a chain one and turn your work. And for the rest of the rows of the shawl, we're going to be working through the back loops only. Okay, so row two starts with two single crochets through the back loop only in the first stitch. And if you don't understand the back loop only, see there's the full stitch. There's like a V on the top. This is the front loop and that's the back loop. We're inserting our crochet hook in the back loop only. And you wanna work two single crochets through the back loop only in each stitch across. At the end of row two, you should have 20 single crochets. Row three begins with a chain one and turn your work. And we're going to work one single crochet through the back loop only in each stitch across. This is what your work should look like at the end of row three. You should have 20 single crochets. Row four begins with a chain five that counts as our first double treble crochet. Turn your work and we're going to work one double treble crochet through the back loop only in each stitch across. Double treble crochet is yarn over your hook three times. We're going to insert a hook into the back loop only, yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, and yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. I get asked all the time how to keep good tension when you're making a longer stitch like this. And it, what I think is important is to make sure that the loop on your hook is pretty taut before you begin. If it's loose like that, you're gonna have a bigger gap up there. And I try to keep all of my wraps when I do the yarn over three times pretty close on my hook. So we'll do that again. Yarn over your hook three times. See how it, they're, pretty close together with the loop on my hook. Insert my hook in the back loop only, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, and yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. And you wanna repeat this all the way across.
This is what your work should look like at the end of row four. You should have 20 double treble crochet stitches. Row five begins with chain one and turn our work. And for row five, we're gonna work two single crochets through the back loop only in each stitch across. This is what your work should look like at the end of row five. You should have 40 single crochets. Row six begins with a chain one and turn your work. And we'll work one single crochet through the back loop only in each stitch across. Row seven is a repeat of row four, which is chain five, which counts as our first double treble crochet. Turn our work and work one double treble crochet through the back loop only in each stitch across. This is what your work should look like at the end of row seven. You should have 40 double treble crochets. Rows eight through 35 are going to be a sequence of rows two, three, and four. Follow the pattern, follow the link in the video description to download the pattern and get all of that information. Next, I'm going to show you how to get started on the edging. The first edging row begins with a chain three and turn your work and double crochet in that same first stitch. We'll be working through both loops of the stitches now. So it's yarn over your hook, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Chain five. Then we'll skip three stitches and work two double crochet cluster in the next stitch. Two double crochet cluster is yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, Insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. You want to repeat chain five, skip three stitches, and two double crochet cluster in the next stitch all the way across. The next edging row begins with turning our work and slip stitching into that first chain five space, chain one, and single crochet in that same space. Chain five, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain nine, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain five, single crochet in the next chain nine, chain five space, and we'll repeat chain five single two more times. And our repeat for this row is chain nine single, chain five single, chain five single, chain five single. You wanna repeat that all the way across, except on the last repeat, omit the last two chain five singles. The next edging row begins with slip stitching into the first chain five space, chain one, and single crochet in that same space. Then in the next chain nine space, we'll work 14 double crochets. and single crochet in the next chain five space, chain five, 
single crochet in the next chain five space, chain five, and single crochet in the next chain five space. Our repeat for this row is 14 double crochets in the next chain nine space, then single, chain five, single, chain five, single. You want to repeat that all the way across, except on the last repeat, we're going to omit the last chain five, single, chain five, single. We'll just end with a single crochet in the last uh, chain five space. Okay, and our last row for the edging starts with a chain one and turn your work single crochet in the first single crochet. Then we're going to skip the first double crochet and work a double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, we'll do double crochet, chain one five times. Then one more double crochet chain three, then double crochet, chain one, five times. One more double crochet, and single crochet in the next chain five space, chain five, and single crochet in the next chain five space. Our repeat for this row is skip one double crochet, double crochet, chain one, five times, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain one, five times, double crochet, skip one double crochet, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain five, single crochet in the next chain five space. You wanna repeat that all the way across, except on the last repeat, you're gonna work the, uh, this single crochet in the last single crochet and skip the last chain five and single crochet. Follow the link in the video description to download this beautiful pattern with charts for both the shawl and the edging and get information on where to find this yarn. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please feel welcome to leave them for me in the comments. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.